M0FXB, welcome to my videos learning the USDR Plus Transceiver QRP CW decode. And I'm on the USDR USDX Facebook page. I'll put a link in the description. I'm just going to show you my settings. So if you can hear now, I've been sat here just twiddling through. It's not busy right now. Strong French station there. Push and turn for the volume. And push and turn. Now to get to the menu settings, just press the menu button. And I will say that straight away that the microphone that you get, you know, the external microphone, it's just not very good. If someone's got a modification for that, let me know. Otherwise, everyone's using the internal microphone. You can see a photograph on the left there on the Facebook page. I'm just going to show you some of the settings that I put into my device that were were uh, Rob Rob is the person that's posted that on this Facebook page so we'll just start off with the first one which is AGC on now I've got mine set to slow but you could change it if you press to fast if you want okay then go back one menu the next setting that is recommended is the NR2, so we'll go to that. And while we're passing, we've got ATT is set to zero, ATT2 is set to one. Keep going. Did you notice we've got CW decode there? A lot of CW settings, and you've got practice mode there as well volume for your tone on your volume and then you get to noise gate so i've got mine set to four then your tx drive four pa bias is zero if we go one more than that's the minimum and the max is set to 160 and i don't think we can turn off the quad with this firmware but that has an effect as well so that's pretty much what I've set come out pressing the menu you can change the back line you can see that on receive you get this nice green and the PTT on top and on the front here and you can change the mode just by pressing this button here on the front as well so check out the Facebook page let me know if what your settings are and what you recommend microphone wise if you've come up with a way of making a microphone external microphone work with this device otherwise you've got the built-in one here and um, you know we can change the mode as well that's interesting when i pressed it fast it went into filter i didn't know that so we just quickly do that again there's your mode and then a double press has changed the filter i didn't even know that that's new to me We're in the wrong mode, aren't we? But that, I think that was quite good. And then push and turn for volume. Well, that's a nice little tip that we just learned about the filter. Yeah, I really like the fact that we've accidentally found that. So I think we'll end it there. Now, there is firmware that's been recommended by, um, or made by GARDI. There's a full video installing that firmware. If you scroll up, you'll see it on the group. I'll link it into the video anyway. I was looking at it just now, installing it. Plus, of course, I'm going to have a go at installing that firmware as well. But you do have to take the radio apart, unfortunately. Uh, some screenshots there. And I've, I've not tested this on, on, on CW. So you have to take it apart and then you have to use um, a Arduino device to then install the firmware, uh, the modified firmware, into the this device. But it'd be nice to see what we can get out of this device you know as it is they're about 120 pound 130 pound by the time you pay shipping and tax it's a good solid well-made device but somehow the microphone i just don't know why um 
you know, I'm sure I'm surprised that no one's come up with a fix for that. Bye for now, 7-3.